All right, so now we're going to show you how to publish and subscribe using PubNub. And uh, my, my test environment is just two browsers, two Chrome browsers. And on the left, I have incognito uh, mode, which uh, makes sure that I'm not having process overlaps with, uh, with my other browser instance, so that they can actually demonstrate two separate users. And uh, the browser on the left will just be user one. The browser on the right will be user two. They're both going to subscribe to the same channel using the same set of keys. And they're going to publish and subscribe to that same channel. You can see the messages being uh, interchanged. Now, let's look at what uh, you know what I'm using uh, for uh, for I guess my my test code. I have a local HTML file in my system here, and it just includes the PubNub library. So if we just look at the the source code for that, you'll see right there uh, is the is the link to our CDN, and you see I'm using PubNub dash dev, which just points to the latest uh, released version. And it's not minified. If you're going to go to production, you're going to want a versioned uh, CDN like PubNub dash three dot one dot fifteen dash min. And uh, but you know, if you just go to our, our docs page, you'll see the links that you can use. I'm going to add code on the fly using the browser's console, so we can actually just you know write whatever code we want for PubNub right here. So first thing you want to do is initialize PubNub with the demo keys. You would want to use your own pub and sub key here. So, you know, pubnub and uh, pubnub.init is uh, is optional. Pubnub without the init, it does the exact same thing. Provide the subscribe key and the publish key. Do the same thing for our other browser or other user. So they are both they both now have an object uh, pubnub object that's initialized using the demo keys. Next thing we want to do is subscribe to a channel. So we're going to have both. Browsers uh, subscribe to ch channel ch1, and the message callback is going to just log. It's just going to log the published messages, the received messages, to the console, and uh, you can see it just says message received. And then we're using JSON stringify to um, to just stringify the JSON that's being received, so we can read it. It doesn't get printed out as an object that we have to that we have to expand through. So we'll subscribe. There and we'll subscribe on the other browser. Okay, so now both browsers are ready to receive messages published to CH1. And let's just go ahead and do that. Let's, uh... So you can see here is my publish call channel CH1. The message um, actually that's the that's the JSON stringify version. We don't want to do that right now. But here's uh, here's the actual JSON. Unstringified the, the the formal JSON object from user one one one. You can imagine if I had like a user ID for this guy, uh, and uh, the text I'm sending is hello there. These keys and values are completely up to you. They're it's just custom data that you're going to send, and uh, so you can imagine maybe it's like a um, if it, this were a device out in the field that we're publishing uh, temperature or moisture readings, uh, it might be device ID or serial ID, and then you know, uh, humidity, uh, you know, humidity colon, whatever the humidity uh, reading is, or, you know, whatever it is that you need to transmit. For this, it's just a uh, kind of a sample chat app. We're just saying I'm, this is coming from user 111, and the message I'm sending you is hello. And then on the other end, actually, both, both these browsers will receive this message because they're both subscribed to it. You can see both browsers did receive that message. And remember when uh, when we did the uh, the subscribe, we did JSON stringify because when we get the message, it's going to be a JSON object, and it would have been printed as object object with a arrow in the console to expand it. So to avoid that, I'm stringifying it to actually print it out in a readable format. And you can see we're getting exactly what we sent. Okay, so um, we talked about in the course about not stringifying your JSON when you publish it, and the reason being is. PubNub's doing that for you. So let's go ahead and look at the stringified version of publishing it. So here we are, JSON stringify that exact same object. There is the, the, the formal JSON object of what I just sent, but it's being stringified first. Now it'll work, it'll get transmitted, it'll get published and, you know, and, and, and received, but it will be, uh, it'll be escaped as you can see here. So when I receive the message, you can see that it has uh, quotes around the entire thing because it has been stringified and then backslashes to, to further uh, you know, escape the quotes uh, within. So do not stringify your JSON before you publish it. In some SDKs, you actually might get an invalid uh, JSON response, uh, an actual error.
but it'll definitely cause you to do more work uh, nonetheless. So again, just send JSON objects as is. Okay, so we've been publishing from from the left browser to uh, to you know to both browsers. Let's uh, let's just do the same thing over here just to prove the point that you know we're uh, we're all in the same channel. We're sending the same things. Let's. Uh, I'm just this time. I'm just going to send uh, a string object. You know, and we just talked about JSON objects versus stringifying these JSON objects. You can just send a string. You don't actually. It doesn't have to be a JSON object, but it's typically what you're going to send. So let's send just the the text hello there. And you can see. Yep, both of them have received this uh, successfully. And that's the basics of it. Now, when it comes to uh, the subscribe method, um, there are additional. Uh, optional uh, callbacks that you can implement, and those are connect. And I'm not going to write the whole thing out here, but let me just, uh, you know, well, I'll type it all out. Connect, disconnect, and reconnect. And this just is. Uh, these are just um, connection lifecycle. Uh, uh, callback. So if there was a network issue, the disconnect would get called, and then when it when it uh, that network connection re, you know resolved itself, you came back online. Reconnect would get called. Uh, the first time we subscribe to a channel, since we're already subscribed to channel uh, to CH1, let's subscribe to CH2 now, and you'll see that this connect will get called back. And um, and, and it's, that's a poor message to use. It said message received CH2, but um, just uh, you can see it was just this message here that was uh, that was called back. So, those are those are obviously optional, but in a real application, you would want to implement them. And so that's really all there is to publish and subscribe with PubNub. You import the library, you initialize using your keys, you subscribe to a channel, and you publish to the channel. And that's all there is to it. Thank you.